turns a four, four turns a eight. Sleep and get paid. Rich when I wait. What's up, y'all? This your boy J Wayne. You know, representing Team Take Profits. And if you want the tips to catch the pips, then I'm telling you, you came to the right channel because we've been focusing on mastering these indicators. Now, why why am I taking the pause from what I usually teach to talk about indicators? Well, there's a lot of people watching my video. There's a lot of people that's in that's coming along in this Forex market, creating broker accounts, and they're blowing their money. How do I know? Because I'm getting emails after email after email of people just struggling and I'm here for the people okay I'm not here to just collect views and 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 just ramble along about some stuff I'd have read in a book I know how to help you make this money and why am I choosing to go the indicator route well I didn't went the other route showing you live trading showing you this showing you that but be, it's, it's going over beginners heads. So I wanted to focus on some indicators that actually work. And the reason why I'm talking about indicators is because they're going to use them anyway. You guys are going to use them anyway. Anybody that's just starting out and even intermediate, you're going to use indicators anyway. You're using them. So you might as well use them the right way. And I got you. All right. So we're going to be um, I, I took a couple trades today, GVP, JPY, and I took gold. So we're going to kind of dive into them. I'm not going to rush, but I'm not going to hold you long. All right. I'm just going to give you the information that you need. So let's dive into the chart. Let's first go over GVP, JPY. Let's get it. Now, I've been focusing on mastering the 50 moving average. I wanted to go there first because I know how powerful it is. And how profitable it is and how consistent it is all right check this out this is a little twist add this to your arsenal now the first thing i seen was a double top i mean i'm sorry not a double top a double bottom that is a double bottom okay price found a support level down here at this demand zone it's really a demand zone you know if i was to mark it up like this that's the that's the demand zone all right and price just came back down to it and then collected orders and shot up now i'm not doing anything with that i'm not trading anything with you know with that i'm just acknowledging what's happening it's gonna it's gonna everything is gonna come together and that was just step one now the next thing was well price made a um a pullback and it just stopped at the golden zone so check this out so i'm gonna pull out a fibonacci tool if you guys don't know how to use fibonacci or you want my settings um just go on my youtube what i i posted in the um in the comments but it, you could just go search on my channel fibonacci so i went from the low to the high the ones that i just circled so go from the low push it up to the high because that's where it went it went higher right all right so let's zoom in on this and then now you got the golden zone now i'm not doing anything with this either but all this is 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 confluence all of this stuff is coming together giving me a trade opportunity giving me confidence to take this trade that i'm about to show you so now I see price holding at the double bottom, which is the demand zone. And I see price pulling back to this golden zone. That's this little golden box. It's the, it's the, the 5618 level. Watch those videos of mine, Fibonacci. All right. So now price shot up. Now I don't necessarily want to take an entry. I really didn't, but I end up doing it, but I really wanted a pullback and it did pull back, but honestly guys i just didn't catch it quick enough it was like it was sneaky and i and i missed it but i wasn't really worried about it because this was a great trade opportunity everything you know was there for me now my entry was just not the greatest but you're not going to always get the best entry so um i basically took an entry let me just show you where my entry is 
like I said, price did pull back a little lower, but here's the situation right here. You want to pull out the long position tool. And my stop loss was down here. And my uh, TP was just basically a one to one. Somewhere around there. All right. So now I'm not looking to catch a lot of pips. This is what I want you to learn. Most of the time we're trading when when the hour candle break the 50. See that it broke the 50 retested the 50 with that green candle and that wick right here, that green candle and wick. And then it just dropped. And that's how I've been teaching you to take it for the last month or so. But now I'm showing you if you find a trade setup and the 50 is above, you don't have to wait for it to break it. You just make sure that you have a good trade setup and you take profit at the 50. You can trade into the 50. You just have to have a trade setup. See, for an example, this one right here is a little risky because the only way you could take that one as is pushing into the 50 was a trend line break. But that's pretty much all you had. That's not, a you know what I'm saying? And that's like that right there. And then, or you can put it steep. You see what I'm saying? It gets a little tricky and you don't really have nothing to go off of. But what if you find a double bottom or something where price is holding, then it pulls back to the golden zone, then bounce up. See, now that's more of a trade setup of my style because it's, it's waiting and it's, it's basically you're allowing price to show his hand and then you just do a quick grab. You know what I'm saying? A, a, just a quick money grab. You feel me? And you just catching the momentum. That's it. So I'm not looking for like, for an example, I'm trading from 2 a.m. to pretty much four o'clock in the morning. That's two hours. That's all I'm doing. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting like a sniper on a building. I'm waiting like a sniper. Boom, waiting. I wait forever if I need to. I wait five hours. And then, boom, I see my opportunity and I pull the trigger. All right. I, I, I execute the trade. I'm in. Boom. I'm done. You never even knew I was there. Packed up my bags. I'm out. You feel me? So that was my entry. And uh, you can see it on the chart. It fluctuating. It did pull back. You can see it. You see how the, you see how the red candle came down first. And then it shot up. Now, there was somebody. Now, I traded live with the team and I called this out like I always do. I called this trade out. We had plenty of time to get it. My man was a little bit late in, on getting in, one of my uh, team members. But he did He did get in on the pullback and price started to um, drop a little bit. And he was like, should we close it? And I was like, yo, you do you see this stop loss down here? Price hasn't even violated that. So there's nothing even to talk about. And he was like, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. See, that's what the mentorship is about. Because if he was by himself, he probably, he said it went lower than what he thought. See what I'm saying? Men that's why you need mentorship. I, hel I helped him stay in that trade and make his profit. Help him think clear. That's what mentorship is about. I don't leave you hanging. All right? We doing this together. If you are part of my um, my mentorship on a master trader package where you can uh, trade live with me. All right. So um, so that's that. That's how to trade. Now, it did. Uh, I took profit there. Now, the reason why I took profit there, because I'm super conservative and. I see this structure right here and I'm like, I'm good. I don't really need it probably will go higher. I was thinking and it did. Right there. Boom. But look at this. Do you see how powerful that 50? That's why I use the 50. It's so dynamic, team. Price stopped right at the 50. But I'm I'm in and out like a sniper. I got the mindset of a sniper. I know my spots. I know where I got to pull the trigger at. And I know where to get out. And you know what I'm saying? It's powerful stuff, man. And I'm just scalping. I'm not trying to catch a boatload of pips. A few pips here a day. And bro, like they say, keep the nine to five away. And I'm just super consistent with it. All right. So look, that's pretty much it. That's how you trade into the 50. All right. Let's go over to gold. I got one more trade set up. And I believe as I break these down for you, you're going to get aha moments. A light bulb is going to go off. 
one of these videos is just going to be like, yo, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because you're uh, hopefully you're putting the work in when he, when this video go off, you know, when you're done watching these YouTube videos, you're putting the work in. All right. You can watch them all you want, but you got to back test this stuff. All right, guys. And if you like my trade setup breakdowns and how I enter these trades and how I take profit and all that stuff, please subscribe to the channel. And what I want you to do team for me, if you really rock with me, share my video on social media just to get the channel out there because I really want to help the people. And I'm just one of those guys that master the craft and I know I can help you where you at. All right. So definitely share this video on social media. Tag your boy so I can shout you out. All right. So let's go to gold right quick. So for this gold trade, we noticed I, I want to say last week price hit two two thousand price hit two thousand and it went a little higher than two thousand and then it backed away and dropped. But now we're back up. OK, so that basically means, again, we found some type of support level and look at all of these wicks. All right. Look at all of these wicks here. Now, look. Now you saw me find a trade set up on GJ, right? You, you found me. You saw me found a trade set up on GJ where price was heading into the 50. Now, gold price actually broke the 50. Look at the little candle. You see the little doji candle. I mean, it barely broke, but it broke. You feel me? It broke. So you see the little candle, the doji candle um, right there. And then now you got this green one that's moving. Right. So um, I'm going to show you what it looked like. On the hour chart, every I'm going to show you what it looked like on the hour chart here. So everything broke the 50 long time ago and it retested. You can see the red candle retesting. And you can see everything as we go down on each time frame, everything is sitting above the 50. That's game time. And I looked at the currency heat wave and I saw that uh, uh, if you didn't know, the Swiss franc is going to be what you want to look at when you're trading gold. Because on this currency heat wave, you don't have gold on here as XAU. You, you feel me? You don't have that. So you got Swiss franc. Look at the look at the CHF and the USD. CHF, which is the Swiss franc, seven on a strength meter. USD is at a three. We buying that. All you need is a good trade set up and you buying that. And that's what you see. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. So you can see on the profit chart, my entry. All right. So here's the entry. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the chart for you. And it's basically just lights out from here. Like this was pretty easy. And this is about what? 30. So it says 378. Point four. Now gold is is calculated in the points, not pips, like forex currencies are. Um, gold is points. So is I didn't catch three hundred and seventy eight point. Really, you want to move the decimal over. You you move the decimal over and you caught thirty seven thirty seven points. This was a nice trade. Now I've been studying this stuff for years, and I just know the pockets to get in and get out of. You feel me? It's a powerful thing. And if you have a small account. This is what I, this is how I recommend you to trade. Um, you you got to do what's best for you, but I really recommend um, trading. Um, you know, scalping, knowing knowing how to get in and get out of these trades, um, knowing the pockets, knowing where the price is going to take off, knowing where the momentum is. I t I teach you that. I teach you that. You feel me? And you, you need to know this stuff if you're really going to last in this Forex market. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to lace you all the way up and share this video on social media. Tag your boy. Guys, one of my goals is to grow my channel because if I grow, I'm going to be helping so many people. And I know people need this information that they just haven't found me yet. So let's spread the word, all right? Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and let's make this money, baby. Peace.